Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Macomb Area Conference Basketball on Channel 6 CPHS. Tonight, we're at Port Huron Northern High School as the Huskies take on the Crosstown Rivals, the Port Huron High Big Reds. This is Randy Fernandez, along with David Keyes, bringing you all the action of tonight's exciting contest. David, quickly before the uh, opening ceremonies here, what do you think about tonight's ball game? Well, certainly, Randy, we have two teams who are struggling in the MAC, but you might as well throw away the 0-3 records. This is Port Huron High versus Port Huron Northern, which means very intense basketball. I expect an up-tempo game. Really, Randy, I think the key to, the, to tonight's game is how well Port Huron High can control the two big men for Northern, mm -hmm. that being Barton and Manulo. Well, it's definitely Port Huron Northern's height against the speed of Port Huron High. Let's turn it over to the public address announcer, Mr. Larry Klink, for the introduction of tonight's starting lineups and the playing of the national anthem by the Port Huron Northern Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Teeple.
very nice to see a very large turnout tonight here at Port Your Northern High School. Well, Randy, I think it's because they've waited so long for a home game. As you know, the Huskies haven't been here since December 12th. Certainly, that is not uh, going to be to their advantage. S coming into this ball game, they haven't played here in over a month. Port here on high hasn't played here, so certainly it's almost like a neutral site as far as I'm concerned. Well, definitely talking to Coach Dan Hamm before the game, they've been on the road for seven straight games, and uh, he ex exactly your sentiments. He said this is almost like a road game to us. We've been away so long. Again, a contrast in styles tonight. Both teams uh, struggling. Northern probably playing their best game of the year in a loss against top-ranked, uh, state-ranked, in fact, Chippewa Valley on Tuesday night, only losing by five. Portier and High coming off a very disappointing loss to St. Clair. But a key to that, and you see him starting tonight, was the play of D'Angelo Sanderson, who scored 23 in that loss to St. Clair. Yes, he played very well. As you said before, contrasting styles. I think what we'll see is a much more deliberate game out of Port Huron Northern, a much more up-tempo game by Port Huron High. Referees for tonight's contest, Mike McDowell and Chet Boss. Opening tap goes to Malberg of Northern. Port Huron High jumping right into a man-to-man -man defense. This is going to be interesting because I certainly think the Northern's got the size advantage. Malgenberg's first shot, air ball. Nice rebound by shot, put back up, and no good. And then you can see the size advantage, but it comes down to Port Huron High School. John Scott strong to the whole finger roll, offensive foul. Good call by the referee. Scott's got to dump that ball off. He had D'Angelo Sanderson or Damon Wright standing in the corner looking for the dish and didn't get it to him. And we knew we'd see full court man-to-man -man pressure by Coach Jordan Morger tonight. Good defense there by Jared Ratchie. In fact, let's set both lineups for Port and High. Ratchie, Scott, D'Angelo Sanderson, Damian Wright, and Cates for Northern Malberg Manuelo with the shot. Malberg, Weston, and Sean Barton. Randy Coach Dan Hatton's team has got it inside twice now, unable to score, however. I really think at some point in time, Coach George Moger is going to have to think about, oh, nice pass. By, he's going to have to think about going to zone defense, try to counter the size of Port Huron Northern. Second team foul, first on Cates. Out of bounds to Northern underneath the West basket. Two quick fouls in less than a minute of playing time. That's something that Coach George Moger wanted to see. Malberg, oh, Malberg releasing was wide open. Oh, nice move by Malberg. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Again, three quick team fouls here in the opening minute and a half by Port Huron High School. Nice move to his left that time by Justin Malberg. Malberg probably in the top five in the Macomb Area Conference in speed. First point of the ball game, Northern with the early lead. In earlier action here tonight, Port Huron High came away with a 71 to 43 victory over the Husky JV team. Not surprising, Malberg knocks down two, coming into the game shooting 82% for the season. And the game's on the line, he's the man you want to have the ball. And the sophomore, Trevor Weston, has a tough job tonight guarding D'Angelo Sanderson. Good look into Gates. Scott goes up strong, partially blocked, rebound by Barton. Stripped away, however, by Damon Wright. Good hands that time by Wright. Thought Port Huron High had real potential of picking up their fourth foul. Wright fighting hard. Sophomore turns it over. Good hands by Wright, doing it at both ends of the floor. Sanderson, his first shot of the night, all net. I tell you, right now, Sanderson's in his zone. He really feels it. Oh, oh not, no, a, good not a good foul by Sanderson. But you got to question, how does Port Huron High get beat down the floor? Especially D'Angelo Sanderson, who would also be in my top five of quickest guys in the McComb Area Conference. 
Jerry Morogan, who usually starts for the Big Reds, coming off the bench tonight, replaces Jangelo Sanderson. That's a big blow for Port Huron High. Sanderson's been the man with the hot hand, and he's got to go to the bench because he's got two fouls in the first two minutes of the basketball game. Marlberg two for three from the line tonight. Very unusual miss. Suck him in, right there. Oh, good luck. Big time block. Just a side free throw line extended. Scott, 6 4, high. Oh, not, not a, a good, good pass. pass. By Weston. Oh, nice. that's a nice pass. That's a good look that time by Scott. I like the pass there. Good hard cut by Rogan. Coach Antella's team has settled it down. It's been fast and furious, but a lot of turnovers here for both teams. Ratchie's got a. That's got to be the bread and butter play. Oh, nice absolutely. tip in by Barton, the senior co-captain. Scott doesn't get a body on Barton. Ratchie seems content to play behind Manuel, make him shoot the jumper. Probably not a bad move. Rogan's first shot, too strong. Rebound Barton. Wide open shot underneath. They finally see him. Should get the layup. Scott did a nice job. Shock uh, took his eye off the net. 6-6 six, six our score as the tallest player of Portier and High, number 52, Toby Thomas, 6'5", junior, checks in. I tell you, Shock's got to take that ball strong to the hoop. He would have drawn some harm if he'd done so. Again, Northern starting two sophomores in Weston and Shock, so that's the future's going to have to be built around them. No substitutions yet for Coach uh, Hanton. Normally you'll see Adler or the big man Harrison come in. Oh, nice no look good inside pass. Barton. Barton with four. Nice play by Malberg. Good cut that time by Barton. I really think that Barton's poised for a big game tonight, Randy. Rogan wanted oh, good to pick, luck. didn't get it. Right in amongst the trees, stripped away by Barton. Scott goes strong. Over, pardon me, over Scott. Barton with six points to lead all scores. 10 6 our score, Northern with 4.19 left in the opening quarter. Boy, I tell you what, right now Port Huron Northern's beating Port Huron High its own game, which is transition basketball. Got a foul before the shot, I believe, on 40, Matt Schock. His first, team first here in the opening quarter. He's got that in the act of shooting. I don't know about that call. We'd like to wish the voice of the Huskies, Mr. John Brown, who's enjoying a month or two retirement in the uh, islands of Hawaii, David. I know the Huskies miss him, but uh, he'll be back Later on again. Uh, I'm, nice, sure he's, nice I'm sure he's really missing this as he sits <laughs> on the islands in Hawaii. Nice That's short. at the time, Cheryl, and now enjoying Oh, good that rebound. Great rebound by Thomas. Oh, you got to make that basket. Oh, what a great opportunity for Port Huron High, and they can't capitalize. Northern had the numbers. Thomas doing a nice job. Going strong on the boards that time and then coming down making a nice defensive play. Ooh, I'd like to see Toby put that shot up though. He's right there, he's just got to put the ball on the hoop. Instead he dumps it to the 5-8 uh, player right. Barton fadeaway jumper, in and out. Rebound Manuel, too strong, tip up by Manuel again. Gonna go up a third time but he's held by Toby Thomas. Probably a good foul by Thomas, too. Great work underneath by Manuelo. Again, Thomas doing all he can, but after six foot five Thomas, it's six foot uh, two John Scott, so they're gonna give up about three, four inches along the front line, and that's why Northern's trying to take advantage of it, but High's hung right with him so far in the opening quarter. He's got him. Manuelo, nice spin to his left. That's a pretty move that time by Manuelo. Right, wide open, too strong. Weston does a nice job to block him out, but it's gonna be off Trevor's hands. Oh, 
Almost a five second call. Oh, Good bailed out that Manu, time. Though. Bailed out. Port Huron High really needs a basket. Down 12-7. Nice pass up to Malberg for the easy layup. And that's 14. been an Achilles heel so far from the games you and I have done with Portier and High. They just don't seem to get back on defense. Which just mystifies me, Randy, mystifies me. This team's bread and butter is their quickness. Wright does a nice job, set the offense. Oh, Scott tough forces shot. it up. Can't Tough get the shot. Nice rebound. Oh, and another Smith. transition possibility here. Melberg gets swatted in the face, but no call by the referees. Our score 14 7 or the biggest lead of the night with 2.51 to go in the opening quarter. See, Randy, one of the problems that Port Huron High is having is good rotation by the guards up top. Whenever they're having a guard penetrator shoot the ball, they're getting no ro defensive rotation back, allowing Malberg or another Husky player to break. Shots fouled, he'll shoot two. I really think the coach George Moger has got to think about a timeout right now. A team down 14 to seven, doing nothing offensively. Well, I was kidding Coach Hand before the game. I said at the end of the game, if Northern's leading scorer is a guard, I thought they'd get beat. Because to me, Barton and Manulo and Shock have got the height, they got to pound it in. Again, contrary on the other side, George Moger, Again, live and die by that outside jump shot with the, going basically with three guards tonight. And so far, they've been cold, but a lot of, a lot of time left in the ball game. Shaq misses his first offering, really struggling this season from the free throw line, only 43% coming into the game, nine for 21. Hammers that one home. Thomas, you know, does a nice job to buy up. by Scott, too strong. Rebound Barton. It's all northern underneath the glass. Oh, telegraph the pass by Shaq. Great anticipation that time by Rogan. Right by Melbourne. Oh, a nice up play. And in. That was nice. a nice play. Now you got to have the defensive recovery. There it is, doing a good job. And look who it is. It's Wright. Wright, a former Husky, now playing for the Big Reds. Nice spin move by Barton. He's fouled to shoot two. Port Huron High fans not happy with that call. And you know, you look at the foul situation, David. 17 fouls already in the bonus uh, against Port Huron High. Northern with only one foul tonight. Dave Taddy, number 54, going to check in for John Scott. Barton getting his first to go, Randy. 70% on the season. Coming into the game, 21 for 27. Very respectable from the line. Much one on one there. Rogan, tough shot in and out. Rebound, Barton. Too Barton's much one on one, Randy. Barton playing a whale of a first quarter. Does a nice job to knock it away. Another substitution for Northern 22, Adler. Brian Adler, Jr., forward. Checks in the lineup. You know, right now, Rogan's just pressing to, to get himself open offensively and to do something offensively. He's just got to let it come to him because naturally he's a great basketball player. Bad shot by Shock off balance. 52. Brooks is going to check in for Shock. Yeah. 
Good job by Marburg. Cut off the drive. Rogan, That's should be steps, yes. Rogan's trying to do too much, pressing a little bit. Only had three points the other night against St. Clair, averaging in double figures. Well, like I said, Randy, he's just trying to do too much offensively because he's not getting good looks at the basket. He's got to use his players. He'll get the shots. Aller's got the height over Wright, but Wright's got the quickness, strips it away, two on two. Oh, very lucky that time. Shots up by Rogan, can't get it to fall. See the Randy, that was at least a good look at the basket. But he can't get Barton that shot. He'll nail that all, all night. All night long for Sean. 19 to nine, under a minute to go. So far, absolutely nothing for Port Huron High. And I attribute a lot of it to D'Angelo Sanderson picking up two early fouls and being on the bench. Three-pointer. I tell you, David, how many have we seen are right up on a, by the high basket? In and out. I mean, they're just, they're missing, but just not by much. But. Uh, but you're right, Sanderson, who came in, hit his first shot, and then got two quick fouls. How long do you set him out? I mean, it's a 10-point ball game. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Randy. I think that you've got to get him back in the game and get something going offensively. I don't know about that last call. I thought that Wright made a nice pass at the ball. I didn't get it, but not a foul situation. That's a play on. Justin, four for five from the line tonight. Five for six. 21 to nine with 34 seconds to go in the first eight minutes. All Northern here from Northern. First shot up by Thomas, well off the mark, rebound Brooks. This is last second situation. Adler wide open on the wing, goes up over Thomas, can't get it to fall, rebound Barton, put back up. Oh, and nice play by Barton. Long shot just before the buzzer falls short, and Port Huron Northern, a whale of a first quarter, they lead 23 to nine. Well, Randy, Port Huron Northern did everything that it was supposed to do and more there in the first half. Transition basketball, basketball in the half court. They did it all, and they did it all very well, and certainly they dominated the glass. I bet they out-rebounded Port Huron High 2-1. to one. Well, again, we've still got uh, 24 minutes of basketball left. Port Huron High trailing by 14. We're going to use this... Uh, time out to uh, set some strategy here but again David when you live and die by the jump shot and it just it just hasn't gone well the problem has been Randy is that they haven't even had a good jump shot yet several of them have just been rush shots they've been off balance shots if you're gonna shoot the ball from outside you have to have good looks at the basket Rogan had a good look towards the end of the first quarter didn't get it to go but other than that just didn't have any kind of rhythm, didn't have any looks at the basket. The other thing we didn't see, David, I thought Port Huron High would be the team to get the easy transition baskets with their speed, and it's been Northern with about eight, 10 points, quickly getting the ball up court. Again, Port Huron High a little lax on defense, have led to some easy baskets. No question, as I said before, Randy, poor offensive rotation, poor defensive rotation, getting the guard to, uh, to rotate back. Fans still filing in here. Going to be close to a sellout tonight. Glad to have you with us. I'll tell you, David, I always enjoy doing games when there's some people in the stands, and I wish uh, more people would come out and root on uh, their favorite team, whether it's St. Clair, Marysville, High, or Northern. doesn't matter. Just come on out. It's only three bucks. Good entertainment. I agree, Randy, and Coach morgan has got to like that call, seeing the fouls 8-1 to one against his team going into the second quarter. 
Although I think it was a, a very well refereed first quarter, don't get me wrong. Well, we definitely have a vet and crew, veteran crew here tonight, but uh, again, Port Huron High's uh, been, been called with uh, quite a few fouls. And a turnover against Northern, Barton with the travel. We got two men at the post. Something's mixed up right now for Port Huron High. No picks for the guards, we though, got, David. They got, got to do it. They got to it off for themselves. We got four guys in the same place. Thomas in and out. Again, Barton underneath the rebound. Foul on Ratchy. Looked like a good jump ball if you're a high fan, but again, foul on Jared Ratchy over the, over the wrist. Coach Moger berating the officials a little bit to try to even it out here. Nine to two foul situation against High. 54, Kevin Harrison, six foot six senior, is going to check in for Manulo. You know, the other thing, David, I don't think George Moger wants Toby Thomas taking the shot. Not that Toby can't knock it down, but Toby's got to be underneath for the rebound. You, your scores are Sanderson, Rogan, Scott, Cates. I mean, Oh, absolutely. Toby Thomas has got to be uh, You don't want Toby taking boards. the 12-footer is, is all it comes down to. it. And as I said before, they had four guys in the same area of the floor, everybody on the, on the left side of the paint, all bunched in the same area. You just absolutely can't have that. Oh, that's a tough call right now for Port Huron High. Jared Ratchie is extremely upset. I don't think he feels he's getting any calls right Looks now. Looks like Brooks was all over his back, and they call jump ball possession arrow northern. Ranchi visibly upset on the court. Three point shot by Malberg, air ball. Three point shot, there's the shooter. There it is, finally got a look at the basket and they got one by a guy who can nail the three pointer. I, mean, I really got to. I got to ask when D'Angelo Sanderson's going to get back into this basketball game. I know he's got two fouls, but he's been on the pine now for at least a quarter. Technically, David, he really hasn't played. I mean, he was in and out in two minutes due to the foul trouble. Shot won't go this time by Ranchi. Nice rebound, puts it up. Going to be short. Take it back right out. On the rebound. Oh, nice nice pass. pass underneath the rogue. A tough shot, but the junior makes it. He makes it look easy. Nice pass by Wright. I'm screaming at him to take the basketball out, and he makes the pinpoint pass to a nice cutting Jeremy Rogan. Like that Marcus Rogan. That Jeremy Rogan. I got Marcus and Jeremy all screwed up. Fort Huron High on a 5-1 run here to start the second quarter. Shot up by Rogan. Too strong. Nice box out by Adler. Pass to Brooks. I don't know what happened there. Looked like a good pass. Trevor West is going to come in for Malberg. Shock's going to come in for Adler. Here comes Scott. I hope we're seeing Sanderson. Here comes it. No, they're going to bring Cates in. Sanderson continues to sit. Scott and Cates come in. Thomas and Ratchie go out. See, Taddy, you see that pick that Taddy set? There's a football player's pick for you. I'll tell you, he freed up that guard for that shot. Absolutely. Nice job by Taddy and by Scott. I mean, that's a little thing that the camera might have missed, but he just flattened the northern defender there. Well, Wide open, Barton. He loves that shot. Too strong this time, however. They've got numbers if he pushes it. Got to give it up. Off balance shot. Can't get it to go. Should have passed it. Rogan had the right idea. I would have just liked to have seen him take it right at the hoop. I think he would have drawn the foul. And Port Huron High on a 7-1 run. Coach Hanton doesn't like what he sees and calls a timeout with 5.15 to go in the half. Northern by 8. Well, Randy Northern's got away from what they were doing successfully at the start of the game, and that was getting the ball inside Emmanuel and Barton, the two of them powering in. 
in the last three minutes of basketball. They haven't done that. They've been ragged. They've taken some off-balance shots. I know that's not what Coach Dan Hanton wants. On the flip side of it, you want to look at from Port Huron High, though, they're doing exactly what they want. They've got this into an up-tempo basketball game. They're getting some good looks at the basket. As you said before, Dave Taddy laying a huge pick out there, freeing up the Scott to, to nail the jumper. Port Huron High is a good team when they get good looks at the basket. It's when they've got men in their face, and it's when they're taking off-balance shots that they're not a good basketball team. Well, also, Port Huron High, it's a team sport, not an individual sport. And again, Taddy sets the picks. You gotta have Ratchie and Thomas just getting their rebounds, and you gotta let the three, four other guys get their points, and that's gonna lead to success. Unfortunately, they haven't had much of that this year, but I'll tell you, it looked like the first eight minutes, Northern's gonna blow them away. Right now, they only trail by eight, well in this ball game. Oh, that was very close to a travel right there by Brooks, catching a shuffle of the feet. Nice strong move yeah. to Harrison. There you go. There we go. That, I'll tell you, that was worth the timeout of your coach Hanton right coach there. Draw Hanton the goes, play up. Doesn't work any better than that. Goes right to what he should. Get the ball inside. Off balance and shot by Damon Wright. And that's exactly what we've been talking about. Nice strip by Scott. Possession of Port Huron High. I mean, we've been talking about the Port Huron High has been very successful for the last three minutes because they haven't taken bad shots, and then there it was. Sanderson back in, double clutch shot, tough is shot. Is he feeling it, it or what? He's got to stay in there. He is just feeling it right now. Why did they miss him in the first uh, quarter or what? Four points for Sanderson. I think that's six. Along with two fouls. Barton, nice double pump move. Too strong, however. Tapped up. Weston underneath. Oh, it's my. good. And I think they got Sanderson on the foul. Let's see who the foul's on. No, Not going to be on think Sanderson. I think that's on Dave Taddy. Taddy's first. Weston, the smallest man on the court for Northern, gets the put back, right person in the right spot. 24 for Northern, seen his first action tonight. Guard Steve Wright checks in for Brooks. Oh, nice, a nice move play by, by Harrison. Harrison. Put back up twice, too strong. Barton over the back. Nice rebound, all boards by Northern between Harrison and Barton. You just got to put a body on somebody and move them out of there. Three point shot by Wright, in and out. Rebound belongs to High. You know, that's the thing, David. You know, not all of us can score, but we can all play defense. That's just hustle, grabbing a man, Putting your rear end right into his midsection, getting him off the glass. No question. Uh, he's got to walk. Good call. Somebody should break long if they're northern. That worked well early. Shock's open, but uh, Wright doesn't see him. That should be a gotta walk. Got to be a travel. Got to be something. I don't know what. They're not going to call any. Now they're going to call a foul, I think. Where's that foul? They're going to call it on Wright, but I, or pardon me, on, well, there's Wright and Wright, right. Damon Wright and Steve Wright, but I think they're going to call it on, on uh, Northern's Wright. Looked like there should have been some call wait, wait, before wait, wait. that. Wait, 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 am I missing something here? Are they going to hand the ball? No, it's a wrong, it's a wrong hand. Referee caught that. <laughs> Nice try by Sean Barton. Well, you had two rights, one on each team there. <laughs> coach Moger definitely not happy with the efficiency. No, that, that's not going to make you laugh if you're Coach Moger right now. Ten to three in team fouls. His team doesn't get the ball when it should. He's uh, pretty uh, disgusted on the sidelines. Got to run Toby down onto the box. I was just going to say they got to come to the ball, and I hear Coach Moger yelling, move, move. Sanford for three, air ball, basically just got a piece of the glass. Got to give it up. They do to shock. Left-hander won't go. Just got to take control of himself there. Scott's going to be fouled. 
Loose strong move by John Scott. That was a good move. You know, Shock is a little frustrated after he misses that layup, but this is his first big Port Huron High, Port Huron Northern varsity basketball game. And well, that's sure twice he's a little his, geeked. Uh, that's twice he's missed. Uh, again, he's a sophomore. He's a starter. He's going to start for three years. And like you said, it's his first high Northern game. Probably a few butterflies. Next time down, David, I'd jam it. I think he's got the ability to do it. Oh, I that. think he does too. Scott, an excellent free throw shooter. Another sophomore out there, John Scott. Well, this is a critical 321 for Port Huron High. They can get themselves back into this basketball game before halftime. And if they do so, I think they've got to feel pretty good about themselves after the huge first quarter that Port Huron Northern had. Scott, two for two. Nice hands by Sanderson. Without Melberg in the lineup, they really don't have a true ball handler in there. Shock does a nice job of control, bring the ball back top side. Barton, That's who was everything the first quarter. Little left jump shot there, turnaround jumper. Barton in double figures for Northern. 32 20, Northern by 12. Scott from 18, yes. Nice bucket that time by Scott, but once again, Randy, a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. Got to look to Barton. He's hot. Got to step in. Oh, don't turn your body there. Good look by Scott. Shot short by Rogan. Nice rebound by Thomas, and that's where he's got to be. Right Absolutely. underneath the basket, getting the, getting the hard-earned bat points. Absolutely. Toby's probably the strongest player out on the floor tonight. Oh, good, good hands. Strip away by, by Rogan. Rogan. Sanderson should take it right at the glass. He does and scores. They just do like six-point basketball game, Randy. Melbourne's going to check in. They, the guards are having a tough time. I tell you, Northern could almost use another timeout here. Foul on Cates. Good call. He hit him. Absolutely, but it's good aggressive defense. I can't think you. I don't think you fault the player for that foul. Well, you know, David, we we haven't. This is our first game we've done for Channel Six for Northern because they've been away all year. We've done two, two, three games for Port and High, and you know we've seen High down by 10, 20, 25 points to come back because they've got so much quickness or like rabbits out there. And if you, you're dribbling with your head down, it's gonna be stripped away from you. No, absolutely, Randy. Absolutely. You just can't relax with this team. You can't turn your back to them and dribble the ball without protecting it. The best way to beat Port Huron High is not to dribble the basketball. It's to pass the basketball. We saw Roseville do that. Uh Last game he covered, the ball never touched the floor against the press. Roseville killed them because they were a good passing team. It was a veteran dominated team and they knew how to protect the basketball. Manuel on the putback. That's big. He got a, a box point game. Out. Every time Hyde gets close, they let Northern get a cheapie underneath the basket. Thirty-four. Keith Walker's now in the lineup for Port Huron High. Shots up by Rogue. A tough shot. Oh, that's over Thomas, the Thomas. That's got to be Barton. Foul over the back. But again, Thomas doing a nice job. That's what Absolutely. Toby's got to do. Number thirty, Craig Shellen's going to see his first action for Barton. Oh, Barton picking up his third on that foul, Randy. That's a big foul just before halftime. Sanderson spots up for the three, well strong, saved by Thomas out to Rogan. Rogan looking for a pick, doesn't get it. 
Inside to Walker, passes out to Thomas. Got to pass that up. I don't care if it goes or not. I know that shot went, but you got to keep him down low. But you know, Toby's coming on strong. Hey, he's shooting the basketball. He's getting good looks at the basket. You know, we didn't see him one game because he was ill. So I'm not really sure whether he can uh, consistently shoot the ball from out there or not. But Sanderson's got to grab control of himself, and he does and nails it. That's huge. Under a minute to go in the half, 35-30. High who trailed by 14 at the end of eight, only down by a nickel. I think he had a carry. Oh, and he's got the foul. They missed him. Uh... I tell you, I don't think that Justin Wahlberg should come out of the game the rest of the night. He is their bread and butter man. You know, David, it's too bad that, uh, you know, both both of these teams, uh, if you give Portier and High, probably Manuel or Barton, instead of being one and eight, they're probably no worse than a 500 team. They just don't have anybody, you know, big in the middle. And if you're, uh, if you're Northern, if you give them probably uh, Sanderson or Wright, they're a 500 team. Yeah, I would agree with that assessment. Oh, good rebound that time. Scott, turnaround jumper. He's fouled by Melberg with the body. Randy, let's, let's give credit where credit's due. Keith Walker going up with a big board that time for Port Huron High up against two Husky defenders. Smart move here taking Sanderson out so he doesn't pick up his third. Shaq's going to come in for right. He's got a good free throw player, or shooter rather. Of course I jinx him. We have that habit, David. I know I do. Cover. Just gonna shut up and let him shoot. <laughs> What's the pair? Ratchie's gonna come in for Scott. Let Malberg bring it up. There's Portier and Hyde to knock it away. Get it to Malberg, let him bring oh, it up. Sheldon was open deep, they didn't see him. Northern gonna hold for the last shot, up by five. 11 Almost seconds thrown to away. go. Good hands that time by Manilo. And he's gone with the carry. Now a three here, David, would be huge for Hyde to cut the deficit to two at the half, I'll tell you. Well, I think that uh, cutting it to five is uh, a tremendous accomplishment. Ratchie wasn't expecting the pass. But you know what, I don't fault Ratchie there because they caught Rogan up in the air. He didn't know, couldn't, it was either throw up about a 30 footer or pass it. Ratchie was hit, crashing the boards, it was thrown behind him. Two seconds, a missed opportunity that time from high. Malberg gonna have to throw it for three quarters court on its way. Close no cigar and our score at halftime for Portier Northern, it's the Huskies 36. The Big Reds 31. We'll be back with second half action after these commercial messages. 